Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This is Mr. David Goodling, a 64 years old white male who came to the University of Michigan in March 1981. He was seen at the ODC and assigned for grad perio. His dental history is very poor. He reports the last visit in the early 1960s and he does his oral hygiene only twice a week. His medical history, his rep he reports some high blood pressure and he has a constant cough. The purpose of this procedure is to show the scaling and tissue reaction. And this is the first visit. Edematous tissue. and exudate upon pressure. Subgingival calculus. A rubber cup polishing was given before the scaling. We used Gracie Curats number three, four for the subgenual calculus. The first visit we will concentrate on the left side, numbers. 21, 22, and 23. The scaling is being performed without anesthesia. After the regular rubber cup, we used also paper strips for polishing. We call the attention for tissue reaction immediately after the scaling on the left side. The lingual aspect, there is some calculus left. which will be checked in the second visit. So this is one week after the scaling on the left side. Checking for remaining calculus
which can be done also with the fiber optic. And here we have some subgenual calculus present at number 23. curette, removing the subgenual calculus on these teeth. And now the second visit, after checking the one week on the left side, after scaling, we start to remove the calculus on the right side. We're using the sickle for the supergenual calculus. And the curette for this subchangeable calculus. immediately after scaling on the right side. And again, this was performed without anesthesia. So what we have on the left side is one week after the scaling, and immediately after on the right side. There is no tissue damage, but still some calculus left. which we will go over the next visit, which is the third one. This shows the two weeks after the scaling on the left side, and one week on the right side. Again, double checking with the fiber optic. The presence of a subgenual calculus on number 26. and 27.
regular polishing with a rubber cup and when there is space enough we can also do that with the gauze. This is three weeks after the skating on the left side and two weeks on this side, right side. The completion of the hygienic phase still two weeks on the right side and three weeks on the left side. There is no significant change on mobility. And this is the chart before the hygienic phase and after the hygienic phase completion. There is a diminishing of pocket depth in the order of one or one and a half millimeter. This patient was placed in a maintenance basis of three months and this is 10 months after the completion of the hygienic phase.
again there is no significant change in mobility after the hygienic phase completion and at this point of the maintenance phase. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu/license.